but we have within our room this very afternoon. Uh, with the possible exception of Joan Carter Conway, who's in the Senate, we have within the room right now today the most powerful African American woman in politics, right here in this room, being honored with you. The uniqueness about her is I met her over the years, and she's born about in Baltimore County, the cultural arts festival that goes on in Baltimore County, usually in September. Not only that, she has been an advisor to many county execs there. And she, even before there was a Baltimore, Washington, a Baltimore County, Baltimore City relationship, she always crossed the line of what was important to us as a community, county, city, and map. Uh, I just watched how she handles herself, and I just marvel at how she handles her politics. She's smooth, she's brave, she's articulate, and um, I just hope one day I can take the title that I'm going to say she is now, and one day remember that I said to her eight years ago, it should be, uh, sometimes should, should, but ladies and gentlemen, if you don't mind, stand and receive the speaker pro tem of the House of Delegates of Maryland, the Honorable Delegate, Adrian Jones. Show us some love for standing for you. Speaker Pro Tem of the House, the first African American female. And just like when you see that there are first, I don't want to just be the first. And there, I think there was someone else here that was the first, I believe, with the, uh, the lyric. Uh, we need to have others. You know, there always going to be somebody there first, but we want more. And sometimes it stops there. But. I don't call myself a politician. I think Larry knows that. And there's a difference between, I call myself an elected official. And there's a difference. Politician, elected official. If you don't know the All difference, right. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> All right. So, I love public service. I encourage all our young people, no matter what they decide to do, whether they're going to four year, two year, two year, go straight to, on a job, to do something in public service because it does make a difference. And I don't see, I represent this area where the station is, but I don't see a Baltimore City, Baltimore County, we all are the same people have the same needs, and we need to do more things together to strengthen our community, particularly <coughs> as African American community. I want to thank Larry again, he's a great friend, I get a lot of checks. From him, I think we all do. We're on this. I think we probably have a million people on this um, his text uh, uh, list, and also the right kind of what you're you're doing for those who cannot speak for themselves in the legal arena. And thank you all of you um, for taking your time out today and all that you do for uh, the people of the Baltimore area and the state of Maryland. Thank you. Excuse me. Well, first, well, certainly, 